one of the most amazing things about finding Komodo and maybe other projects as well, I don't know about that, but it was like the the willingness of the people there to actually give me so much of their time and help. Mm. I mean, uh, I've, I've asked people for help and they've given me literally hours of their time. And I, I never really experienced that in my daily life. Hello guys, uh, it is Auto from Komodo and I'm here with uh, John, the Komodo ambassador from Japan and we are currently in Tokyo. Um, but um, yeah, tell, tell us a little bit like how did you get started with, uh, with Komodo? How did you join the community and how did you become an ambassador? Uh, sure, yeah. Um, I started with Komodo about two years ago and I was looking for a uh, way to exchange some coins I had mm. and it was very lucky I found the barter decks and on the weekend I was searching they had the 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 stress test for it so I joined in on that and I, I learned some things I knew absolutely nothing about computers mm. and it took it took all weekend I actually finally made one trade I was so proud of that I mean it was not easy at the start just mm. just knowing nothing, I mean. So yeah. that, that's how I started. And from that time, I just continued to do things. I mean, if there was something I, I could try, I'd try and put up my hand and do it. And just from that, it built and built. And I, I learned so much from the people in the community, and it was amazing for me to see. Mm. Yeah, so, so you joined because of kind of the, the technology uh, atomic swap technology and you started playing around with it and and and, uh, and then eventually uh, you became an ambassador can, can you tell us like how, how did that happen yeah sure i mean so over the last year and a half i started doing like i said doing many kinds of things and just slowly learning a little bit more how to use the technology and kind of volunteering to participate and help where i could one of the most amazing things about finding Komodo and maybe other projects as well, I don't know about that, but was like the the willingness of the people there to actually give me so much of their time and help. Mm. I mean, uh, I've, I've asked people for help and they've given me literally hours of their time. And I, I never really experienced that in my daily life. You know, I, I'd go up to ask someone, ask for some help. I get like five minutes help or I wouldn't want to... I can't really compare it. And I didn't realize there was that kind of world there of open source and people working together to build something. And, and not for some, necessarily for some personal gain, but just for, for everyone's benefit. And I found that really interesting to me. And I like to try and join in that. And so I gave, wanted to find something I could give back to that. And mm -hmm. so without a technological background, I mean, I found different things I could do and that slowly built up and built up where I found I had a bit more knowledge that I could use this Tokyo and my situation here. Yeah. And, and of course do things online as well, but it's, it's just a course of continually doing things. Yeah. So it's just, uh, Today you, you showed me like a full folder of, of business cards <laughs> and, and like you have been very busy going going to different crypto events and meetups and uh, ca can you tell us a, a bit uh, about your experience there and how, how many people you, you have met and what has happened in these events? Yeah, it's been a really eye opening for me for for like the first year and a half doing things. I was all on online on the computer and. Yeah participating in different things and helping test things and all of a sudden I, I started to go out and meet people and talk mm. about things and it was quite a, a bit of a shock at first because I never really actually speak about these mm. things. Um, I can read them, understand them, it's in my head, but to actually put it out. And I'm also fairly shy. Um, mm. I'm a fairly shy person, but yeah. I've, I've learned how to, you know, push myself a little bit. Oh. And uh, that's the <laughs> national bird of Tokyo, I guess, the uh, crow. Uh, harassing us. Yeah. A little bit. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it was really amazing. Um, when I first started going around to some of the 
events and meetups and meeting different people involved in crypto and uh, fintech and things, I was really surprised. Uh, so many of the things that people want or talk about uh, from a from from a big corporation just to normal people, Komodo actually already has a lot of that technology. And mm -hmm. I mean, some of it's not finished yet. Yeah, it needs someone to come in and just polish it or put a nice interface on it. Right. But that's old news, and I was very surprised at that. Um, very few of the people I met uh, that are really strongly involved in crypto in in Japan, they'd not heard of Komodo, or. Mm -hmm. They'd heard of it as a, they had an image of the um, privacy coin from right. many years ago. Yeah. So it was very interesting being able to talk with them and find out what they're doing, but also show what we're doing and what we've got. And for many of them, it's quite a shock. Uh, they give an example. I mean, I showed someone uh, Atomic Dex and we were talking about it. And this person's been in crypto for four or five years uh, professionally as his business. And... He said, oh, I've been telling people that we need this thing for years now. I said, well, it's mm -hmm. in my pocket mm -hmm. right here. Right. And you can s show the swap happening and... Yeah. 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 And I mean... Demonstrate the technology. Yeah. yeah. And so over time, I've, I've been doing this ambassador thing for about seven months now, and I've built yeah. up quite a few different contacts. And people are very, very interested in Komodo and the technology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... Uh, and John made a presentation. Uh, what, what was the event that, that you you had Atomic Tech presentation? Yeah, the Tokyo FinTech. Yeah, Tokyo yeah. Tokyo FinTech event, and we have that on our Komodo uh, YouTube channel, so we can link to it and you can check it out. Yeah, I think uh, once once we get the uh, Atomic Tech product uh, out, like the release out, I think that will be a very exciting thing to for ambassadors like you and, and the community and everyone else to then join these crypto meetups and then we can actually showcase to the people that, that the product we have and, and that the technology is here. And I think that, that that's a big thing uh, for Komodo. Um, so what, what are your thoughts on the Atomic Dex? I'm thinking the Atomic, the Atomic Dex and the market making of it will be very interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. quite keen to see how that goes. And I know there's a lot of people out there that would like to participate in that. And it's just basically priving, providing liquidity. But as the tools come out that make that more easy and effective, I mean, that's going to mm. be a big thing. Um, the other thing that's really interesting to me recently is uh, some of the other technology too. A little bit related, but also a little different in the subatomic swaps. Yeah. That kind of technology is also very attractive for many reasons. Uh, can you quickly tell, like, what is a subatomic swap? Uh, like, quickly. Uh, <laughs> a subatomic uh, swap. Uh, so you'll have to you have to check exactly my definition here, but it's it's basically a semi-trusted swap. So the atomic swap on atomic decks is 100% trustless. Mm. You don't have to trust the other person you're dealing with. Um, So the subatomic swap is like a semi-trusted swap, and there is a, a little bit of amount of risk. You can choose how much uh, risk is involved in that. And basically, from what I understand of it, for example, we wanted to swap coin A for coin B. And with that, we want to exchange like $100 worth of coins. And what the subatomic swap would do would automate that process so if you were selling some coins you're the bob and i'm buying i would send you a part of the transaction say we're going to do a hundred dollar trade i would send you one dollar's worth of the coin and you would send me the hundred uh, one dollar worth of your coin and we would keep doing that back and forth until we've either one of the parties, something happens and they stop the swap, or until the swap is completed. So there's a risk of use, losing part of the part of the coin. For example, like a dollar, you, you could set the limit. So it's, it's very interesting for me in the way that 
you can do this process with different kinds of transactions. For example, um, you can do a shielded transaction between a, a Z transaction. So that, that aspect of it's very interesting and I believe that you'll be able to use it for tokens and other things as well. Um, is there anything else you would like to tell, tell to the audience or discuss before we wrap up? Um, yeah, I'd just like to ask you guys to come and join in and uh, help us do some things. I mean, I, I know absolutely nothing. I mean, when I started here, and now I know a little bit more, but I just started finding what I could do. And I started trying it and doing it and making mistakes and asking people for help. But I mean, the support I got from everyone in the community and the Komodo is just amazing. And anyone can do that. I mean, if you have an idea, please try. Try something. You know, ask for someone how, how they can help you or how you can do it. And actually do something. I mean, I've heard some amazing ideas out there and I, I've got a lot of ideas, but until I actually do something towards that idea, I mean, it's not actually doing anything. And I, I would encourage everyone out there, you know, please come and help, you know, uh, bring up the value of our coin, contribute however you can. It doesn't have to be some big thing and you don't have to make something, but it might be just sharing a post. It might be, you know, answering someone's question or sharing a video. It could be something very simple like that. I mean, for, for developers out there, I mean, we have some very serious technology that we'd love for you to come in and share. I mean, we're an open source project and we'd love your contributions and we'd love to see you use and build on what we're making now. It, it's pretty cool stuff. And if you have any questions, just ask. I mean, there's a lot of people that are happy to help out with you. All right. Uh, thanks. Thanks, John. Um, so that that's it from for for our video here from uh, Tokyo. Uh, see you guys on the Commodore Platform uh, portal, community.commodoreplatform.com. If you have any follow-up questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Nice.